Warning, Honest the following trailers, video contains Rogue spoilers one. for Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Where's Rogue One? Do Rogue One! Guys, you've seriously got to learn how to spell Rogue. <laughs> <laughs> gotta learn how to spell Rogue. You member A New Hope. You member Darth Vader. Now, prepare to member the handful of years between the rise of Darth Vader and the start of A New Hope. We call it... The Death Star. Uh oh. They're gonna just rehash everything from Star Wars, aren't they? I've got a bad feeling about it. Hey. Rouge, Rouge One, a Star Wars story. Get ready for Disney's first Star Wars anthology movie, because there's no way in hell they'd call it Star Wars prequel number <laughs> four in what has to be the most money anyone's ever spent to fill in a plot oh, hole. That's... that's the place I've laid my plan. <laughs> That answers your most pressing questions. How exactly did the Rebels get the plans to the Death Star? Did they grab a data tape with a giant claw machine, then use a big antenna to beam the data yes, tape to did. a ship? And then did that ship transfer the data to another smaller tape? And then did Princess Leia copy that smaller tape onto a tiny droid's hard drive? You know, whoever said this one is as good as Empire must be really into file formats. <laughs> Meet an all new gang of rebels you, uh, how do I put this? Shouldn't get too attached <laughs> to. Like Jin Erso, the rebellious rebel who rebels so hard she does whatever her dad tells her. It must be destroyed. I know. We will. Whatever her surrogate dad tells her. Go with him, Jin. You must go. And whatever her new co worker tells her. I'm coming with you. No, we can't risk it. But sometimes she's pretty grumpy about it. <laughs> <laughs> Rebelling alongside Jin oh, is yes. K2SO, a droid with more personality than any of the oh, human characters. That's I'll be there for you. Cassian said I had to. Cassian, a rebel whose most heroic moment comes when he doesn't murder someone for once. I had every chance to pull the trigger, but did I? Saul Guerrera, an extremist cast out of the Alliance by extensive reshoots. <laughs> Chirrut, the blind guy who's technically not a Jedi, but I mean, come on, look at this guy. And his friend, uh, Gunny McShoot face. I'd add more, but that's pretty much all there is to this guy. Cower before the might of the Empire as various old dudes squabble over who gets credit for the Death Star. We stand here amidst my achievement, not yours! While down on the battlefield, stormtroopers are rolling out in two brand new flavors, but with the same old incompetence we're used to, whether they're missing easy shots. <laughs> <laughs> Casually getting taken out. Or setting up their weakness to sticks that the Ewoks <laughs> would take advantage of. <laughs> Why do they even bother up. with the armor at all? Enjoy one of the most beautiful Star Wars films to date that feels like the world's biggest budget fan film. Full of Easter eggs that will have diehard fans saying, Gold leader, red leader. Awesome. The Guardians of the Wills. I get that reference. Hey, it's prequel guy. Blue milk, cool. Why does nobody ever tell me anything, Arto? Okay, I like him. You just bunch yourself. So that's where those Cantina guys were. They were walking around. Yeah, the T-15s have been marked obsolete. T-15s. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have to look that one up later. <laughs> Whoa, what an awesome way to put Tarkin in the mo- Ugh, never mind. And this feels wrong somehow. But nothing will service fans harder and faster than Darth frickin' Vader, as a much older sounding James Earl Jones tries to give us a new iconic scene. Be careful not to choke on your aspirations. Ugh, who let George Lucas write a line? But just when you think he's been wasted, extend your lightsabers for the most badass Star Wars moment put to film, the hallway scene. Which makes Vader's next fight in the timeline even sillier than it already was. Ooh, do more tricks. Not starring the following shots you saw in the trailers <laughs> that weren't in the movie. Jin versus yes. a TIE fighter. The group together, working yes. together. Actual heisting. 
war-torn Scarif. This iconic shot of Jin mm. undercover. Unused Vader? Saw Guerrera's other haircut. The shot they based the whole marketing campaign on. All these other cool shots. And this line. This is a rebellion, I isn't rebel. it? I rebel. Okay, cutting that one makes sense. Suicide Squad, an unnecessary Star Wars story. That's messed up. It's a good movie. So, really cool stuff. Um, you know, I'm a Star Wars fan, so I am a little bit biased against some of the negative stuff they put in there. But of course, I know it's all in fun. Uh, and I did have fun with that. But uh, very nice. Uh, um, Screen Junkies always does a really good job uh, with their uh, uh, honest trailers. And uh, this is another example of it. So, great job, guys. Really appreciate that.